With so many games that I do on this channel, having major updates added to them after they go live, adding in new features, I want to show you how to write a good bug report for any bugs you find. I'm Controlled Chaos, and in this video, I will show you professional ways to write bugs. Now, you may ask yourself, how does Controlled Chaos know how to write these bugs? I spent over three years working for one of the major game publishers out there and console builders. So that gives me the qualification right there. Plus, I also went to college for game design and I have worked as a game developer on independent game development projects. Now, a lot of game developers will love to see reports like this. I know No Man's Sky, one of the games I cover on this channel, loves to see bug reports like this, guaranteed 100%. And the reason I know that is when I was working at that publisher, I actually did test one of Hello Games' early games called Joe Danger. And this is how we wrote up our bugs. Let me go ahead and break it down for you. First, you want to write a one short sentence describing what the bug is about. This one's for City Heroes on Thunder Spy server. So they're already aware of this and working this out. And it's an ability called Key Punch, where you hit the opponent and they do a slow motion flyback type of thing and you're able to shoot them while in the air. The problem with this bug is that they moved too fast. So my central uh, simple write-up was key punch, knockback, animation is too fast. Short, simple, and sweet. You want that first sentence to be that way. Then after that, you want to write a two to three sentence paragraph explaining the bug. So here I just wrote, when the player uses the key punch power, the enemy is knocked back quickly to where the player is unable to get off a range shot off on them before the enemy hits the ground. Now you notice I don't say the enemy's name. I don't give specifics. I just say the enemy. You can also use the word target. You don't want to give specifics. The reason being is if someone's looking at this bug, they may not know the enemy's names. They may not know the enemies are called Sentinels in No Man's Sky. They may not know that there's an enemy called the Skulls in City of Heroes and things like that. So you want to keep it very generic. That way they don't have it. If you do put in the enemy name, it's dealing with a specific faction. You want to, in parentheses, after it, put enemy or target. And so with that, after you've written up those couple sentences, you want to give a severity ranking of how severe the bug is. And it's a ranking of one to three. One being major bug issues, three being minor bug issues. And the way this is professionally worked out is a major bug issue is if something causes the game to crash, the game or the system you're running on, it crashes, that is a SEV1 as it's called. If it blocks the player from being able to do something in the game and being able to complete something in that game, it's a blocking bug, it's a SEV2 bug. All other bugs, whether it be animations, sound effects, a typo, or anything like that, you know, small little issues that don't stop you from being able to continue on the game, doesn't crash the, the game or anything like that, is a SEV3 bug. So this bug here, because it's an animation issue on how fast it goes, it's a SEV3 bug. Next, you want to write out step by step exactly what happens how to get this bug to happen you're doing the reproduction steps and you want to treat this as the player has never even touched the console or the game so for console players you want to state oh this start up this console put in this disc or launch this game you want to put those steps in. So let's say it's an Xbox game. You want to say, start the Xbox, launch this, this specific game, or put in the CD for this specific game. So because the City Heroes game is only on computers, I just said, run the Sweet Tea Launcher. 
And then after that, I said select Thunder Spy because the Sweet Tea Launcher has multiple servers on it. So I'm telling them to select the Thunder Spy. Then I'm telling them to verify to make sure that they have the most up-to-date files then the launch button. And because there's a username and password needed, I say put in username and password. Then I tell them to create a new character so that they get a fresh go at it. And then click range damage, which is the type of attack unit character you're creating. Then to select the blaster class. Then I'm telling them to select any primary power. It doesn't matter because this does not affect the bug. Then I'm telling them that they specifically need to select martial artists in the secondary power pool. Then they need to select the key punch power in case they have multiple choices. You want to make sure that you have them choose that. Then I'm telling them just finish the character creation. It doesn't matter what they do from there in creating the character. Then once they're in the game, I'm telling them to find an enemy, get to melee range, and then once in, click on the key punch power or press the corresponding number key on the keyboard. Then you want to click on the range attack immediately or the corresponding keyboard number to do the, the attack. And notice the results of how quickly the animation happens. After that, you want to do at least five tests on them. and each time you test it you want to mark down how many times the bug actually happens so for this i'm able to get it to happen five out of five times so i put five out of five if it only happens two out of five times then you put two out of five this lets them know how often and how frequently this result will happen so they'll know how easy of a track down it will be to confirm your bug, how much time they need to spend reproducing your bug to get this to go. After that, you want to put in the actual results of what happens when you do the following actions in their reproduction steps. With that, I just simply put Emmy flies back and hits the ground before the player can do ranged damage on them while the enemy is in the air. Then you want to put what is to be expected, what is supposed to happen or what you believe is supposed to happen. Normally, game testers will have the game development document telling them what's expected to happen. You as the player, you don't get that. So you have to guess what's supposed to happen. Such as in No Man's Sky with this new endurance update, there's the trade terminal that happens and every so often that trade or that orb in that trade terminal will float off and will fly away from the trade terminal and that's not supposed to happen from what we guess and so that's where you'd put the orb is supposed to stay put in this instance i put the enemy would fly back slowly as if in slow motion and the player would be able to get off a ranged shot off the enemy while they are in the air then after that, you want to, if it's a static thing, like it's a, a texturing issue or uh, a model floating in the air that's not supposed to be floating in the air or a model looks wrong, you know, there's like a, a gap in the model or something like that, you want to just do a screenshot and then circle the area that has the issue so that it draws the eye to it that's what you want to do and if it's supposed to go someplace then you want to draw an arrow on where it's supposed to be if it's misplaced now if it's a sound bug or an animation or moving bug what you want to do is you want to do a video showing what it is or having the sound of what it is such as if you fire off your weapon and the the weapon fires and then a few seconds later the sound effects go for the weapon that you're firing then you're you're just doing that video to capture the audio however if let's say you have a walk animation where during the walk cycle every third step the knee pops you know the right knee pops out more and it just looks odd then you want an to show video of the animation of that weird knee popping type effect. This is the way you write professional bugs. This helps the developer find the bug easier. 
And once you get used to writing bugs this way, you will write up bugs a lot quicker and the developers will have a lot more respect for you. And if you're ever interested in getting in the gaming industry, writing bugs like this to the developers, they could say, hey, you're really good at this. Would you like a job as a game tester and that can be really big if you're wanting to get into the industry i know several people in the gaming industry who wanted to become game developers start out as game testers and worked their way up for instance in planet side 2 the head developer for planet side 2 he started at sony online entertainment as a game tester i had no game testing experience whatsoever but he quickly rose up in the ranks learning and learning and learning to where he became a head developer so it is possible if you're interested in wanting to get into that field then you want to follow this format now some places will ask you to write it in paragraph form some places will ask you to write it in this format. I personally like this format because it's easy to digest. It's easy to find what you need. If you're just needing to redo one part of this, you can easily do that. Whereas in paragraphs, you're having to hunt for the part you're looking for. Now, in the description down below is the mock-up of this bug report. You can use this to write up bug reports. All you want to do is you want to get rid of the severity rankings that I'm showing here for you. You want to get rid of the paragraph or less area and then one sentence shorter or less area and where it says attach video here. You want to get rid of that. The rest of this, you, you replace and fill out with what you need. Good luck on your bug hunting. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Have a great day.